Welcome back, Transformers fans. As always, I'm James the Con. And I'm Bobby the Bot. And we want to wish you a happy new year. We hope you had a great time last night. And looking forward, we hope you have a wonderful 2024. But before we get to 2024, let's wrap up 2023 with the best third-party figures of the year. Now, we did hold off on Legends figures because we're going to be doing another smaller video on just what we mostly Bobby, picked up this year in Legends figures. Um, he wants to, yeah. he's so excited to be a dabbler that he needs to show him off. So we're going to be doing that. But with that said, let's start off with some honorable mentions. Bobby, what is your first honorable mention? So my first honorable mention is Fans Hobbies Huntsman. Okay, we're going to pause for a second because my first honorable mention is Huntsman and Marksman. <laughs> so, so yes so why are these in your honorable mention spot so i actually picked up the uh double evil version both versions of that as well and this version did away with the bird mode which i thought was the weakest mode of that figure uh i also did not want to do repaints but this one i think was the best since all three of them came out this year I think this one looked the best. I love the addition of the missiles on the side and how they focused more on this mode and the bot mode versus the bird mode and the other <laughs> uh, alt mode with the other versions of this. The colors look really well, really good, and um, it was something new to my collection. Yeah, these made my honorable mentions list just because I love the decos. I love that we got them at TFCon. I love that the decos are by um, um, Get Right Robot. You know, I love that. Um, I just think the fans' hobby molds themselves have some flaws in them. Like the lack of heels on him, he falls over a lot. Um, his proportioning's a little weird. The biceps are a little too short with this part being too long. So they have problems with the molds themselves, but they're still fun figures, so they get an honorable mention. And these decos are just amazing. Like, I wanted to put them higher up, but you'll see why they weren't. I was very focused this year, it seems mm. like so. Anyways, let's move on. Bobby, why don't you show off your next honorable mention? So my next honorable mention is actually the MMC tapes. And I think these have been great now. Again, I was going to pull it out, but I forgot that the Steel Jaw actually came out last year. Um, so no repaints. So I'm going to put him away. But these tapes have been amazing. I was really hoping that we got um, Ramhorn at, in Orlando. We didn't. So it looks like it'll be probably 2024. But these tapes have been amazing. They're fun to play with. They look great. There's lots of options with heads um, on these. And... I don't know. They just look so much better. The size, so much better than the tapes that came with Takara or, fa or Fans Toys or um, Deformation Space or uh, who am I missing? Uh, KFC. So um, I love the tapes. They, they do look really good. They're a little out of scale, but that's not what they're going for. So for my next honorable mention, I have G2 Grimlock. Technically, this came out last year, but you can still get it everywhere, which is why it's not a little bit higher on the list. Um, I love this thing, especially for the price I got it at. I got it for 50% off at Show Z during one of their Discord sales, which is why it's also on here. I think if I paid full price, I wouldn't be as happy. But this thing looks amazing. I call him Gridiron because he looks like a football player, and it kind of <laughs> sounds like Grimlock, and he's a clone of Grimlock in my story. Um... I think he's really cool. They did a great job. I don't have any issues with the shoulders like people had. The head is different enough from Grimlock that I like it. So it's because he's a new character in my universe. So I think this looks really cool. They did a great job with the sword, the gun. Um, yeah, I, I'm very happy with my purchase. Um, again, price is a big thing with this figure. Um, now, Bobby, do you have any other honorable mentions? I do. And okay. Where is he hiding out at? There he is. This one is would normally be higher on my list. This is Fans Toys Jive 
the EX version. I literally just got this a day, a day ago. So I haven't had much time to mess around with them. But the reason I had to put him down a little bit lower is because the original drive that I got actually had some QC issues. I was highly disappointed in it and it was actually going to make my list of most disappointing figures. And then I got this and I literally picked it up, transformed it and put it down. <laughs> so um, much again, no QC issues here. Uh, the transformation, there's a couple of parts that I don't like with the with the legs, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, but otherwise, great figure, love the different heads and um, glad I got one that didn't have any QC issues. Good job, fans toys. Yeah. So for my last honorable mention, I have Trans Arts Ravage. So this does hold a special place in my heart. I mean, he is missing a toe, but that's on its way to me currently. Um, it has a special place in my heart. Um, I love, I love that I have this. You know, I have the original one. I remember buying that with my great grandparents in Walmart one day. You know, so, but I can't overlook some of the problems with this figure it doesn't have a lot of posability or the posability it has isn't very well designed it only has single jointed um elbows and knees the head should have been a little bit higher the plastic is kind is cheaper than the other trans art figures um but i had to put this as an honorable mention just because i never thought i'd get this and i love it but i can understand people's problems with it I I forgot that you got that, but I remember that you got it. I I, I know yeah. you got some some stuff that I definitely wasn't going to pick up. Yeah. Uh, so I, that was one of them. All right. Well, let's move on to the list proper, Bobby. What is your top five third party figure of the year? So again, we're going with oh okay, fans, hobbies, marksman. Um, I I like the Buster mold. In general, Buster was the first one uh, that I received. The colors on this one is what sold it on this one versus the other the other two that I have. Um, I I cannot stop thinking about these as lipsticks now. <laughs> after talking with with uh, Get Right Robot, I love the the weapons on this one. It unlike the Huntsman, this one didn't have any problems standing up, which I think some people did have problems, but mine doesn't. So. Um, I do wish that there was some something here to keep the missiles from scratching the paint on the, the tail fin. Um, I just like literally just make sure they don't touch when I put it on my shelf. But the colors on this are very vi vibrant, bright, and the head sculpt looks amazing on this. If we can get yes. in there a little bit. So I just think that this figure, the details um, with the colors all around made it pop and this is why this this color version of the figure made my top five makes sense makes sense um i really like it too uh i when i look at the mold there's just proportion issues which is what didn't put it over the line for me personally and everything else that came out so my top five figure is trans art pack rat this thing feels great in hand Again, just like Ravage, I remember getting this. Um, it has die cast. It's fun to transform. Yeah, it's a shell former, but it's still fun. And I, I enjoy that. I like the um, the tail. You know, I have a wrapping around him right now. Um, the gun's cool. You could store everything in alt mode um, if you just wiggle the gun in between his legs when you transform it. Um, I love this thing. And this goes for the lab rat as well. That's, that's what I call him. Um, he's, I guess, also in this, but I wanted to pick one of them, and it's definitely this one. This is my favorite version of this, um, type, this, this mold, not mold, what would that be called? This version of Rat Trap. This is my favorite color scheme of it. So, um, I'm very happy to have this, and it will be a staple in my collection for the years to come. Nice. I, I do like those as well. I like the, also the other accessories like the little missiles yes. or a little yes. um bomb thing he has that are kind of tucked mm -hmm. away and stuff so yeah um they did really well on those molds and i picked all of them up because of that so um good job james um this <laughs> one <laughs> i i can agree with you on that one um this one is is very i didn't expect this and it's fans toys gears and 
what really shocked me about it is that not only the gears, but also the swerve. They literally look exactly the same in alt mode, but transform completely different. And it was amazing. I mean, this one's a lot. This is like a 30, 30 second transformation here, but totally different transformations to get the same uh, alt mode ingenious. And the color, the feel, the paint, everything looks great on these figures. They feel good in hand. Um, I just, I, I actually am stunned by the work they did on these so these definitely made it in and i went with gear since it's the original one that came out and then you know swerve was just just made it impressive of their engineering skills yeah yeah that that is really cool that they become the same alt mode but they're completely different figures i think that's kind of cool <laughs> all right so let's go down to number four no yeah my number four yeah trans arts uh, Megatron. So technically this came out last year, but this was the reissue. So I'm still counting in this year. Screw the rules. Um, <laughs> this thing is amazing. I love having this. I just, I moved out of a storage unit. So I looked through all of my old figures and I have like three of these figures that are all in different states of um, being broken. <laughs> so I absolutely love that I have a masterpiece version that looks so similar to it. Does, does that make sense? And mm -hmm. the, it has die cast on the feet. It has all the gimmicks. Um, I don't really like that it has another tail for alt mode, but I get it. Like, it's okay. And it stores the faces, which, which is, you know, at least it has a purpose off to the side. Um, but I really like this thing. I don't mind that the lights don't eyes don't light up which i know you didn't like mm -hmm. but um i would rather have the show accurate eye stickers honestly um yeah this thing's a work of art and i'm very happy to have it well i i did not expect that one to make your collection your your top but i i see a trend here going with uh trans arts a little bit here <laughs> on, on on figures but um all right let's let's move on this one's hard my my top three they could literally be rearranged in any order so i, I kind of feel the same way you know I, with with top three but i i think i got a good lit uh, good flow going i don't know about you yeah this one so i'm just literally grabbing here and making it easy on myself and this is star toys version of blitzwing oh i forgot that came out this thing is amazing. And while I still don't like this gap here for whatever reason, this is the best version of Blitzwing that we've gotten. And it looks good in all three modes. The tank looks amazing. The jet looks amazing. The bot looks amazing. I absolutely love it. I know you didn't like the, the thighs on this figure was a huge complaint for you. But, well, it's not this figure in particular. It's just any tune accurate one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. This hit hit knocked it out the park for me. And I mean, every it cleans up well on the back. I mean, it's you know, beside again, the, the my only gripe was this portion here. I don't I I would have liked it if this would have just folded down flat or something, but otherwise great figure the price was was amazing on it it wasn't you know too out of whack for for what uh mp size figures cost even though it was a new company it does make me very interested in what they're going to be coming out with in the future yes yes and my number three i made me understand why you want tune accurate stuff because this one's very tune accurate and that is trans arts tarantulas I love this thing. I love that the feet are completely metal. You you hear it when you set them down. <laughs> like it looks amazing. The transformation again is fun, but still reminiscent of the original figure. The paintwork, I don't think there's anything that looks like this with all the different colors and stuff. It stands out on a shelf. It looks like the character. It's there there I I have no complaints about this. Maybe it could have another bend at the knee, but honestly that's fine. I don't see him doing, you know, handstands yep. and backflips and stuff like that. He's an evil scientist. 
Um, and just like the other trans art ones, I had the original one of this as a kid. Having it again in a better, more posable, you know, figure is amazing. I, I, I can't explain it. It must be probably how you feel, except it's a little different because my figure is still posed. <laughs> I'm just a kid. <laughs> uh, so I love this. I haven't had anything crack on it. I know people had some issues with these legs cracking. I haven't had that. Um, this is definitely one for the books. And it's because of this figure that I'm making a Predacon shelf. I wasn't going to do that before. But this figure sold me on it. And honestly, next year might just be all trans art figures because nothing stands up to them. Except for a few that we're going to be talking about recently. I, I think I, I know what's coming. Um, <laughs> you probably do. <laughs> um, so for me, this this was so surprising. Oh, um, and for number two, let's get move on to two. number two. Yes, yeah. this, this was so surprising. Came out of nowhere and stunned me with how good they, they are. And I'm going to show a couple, and that's oh. odd fans ruler i mean the price point 30 35 40 bucks or something like that when they first came out they're 35 i think now they're 45 50 yeah oh i'm so glad i jumped in on these i mean they're i can't say enough about them the, the transformation is is fun they look great the paint looks great i mean they give you you know i love the little uh, crimson sippy cup that he came with. Um, the colors, you know, the only, my only complaint about these is that I wish the wheels kind of tabbed in a little bit better. But with that being said, this gives you some uh, playability if you have it like sitting on rocks or something like that, that it looks, the wheels will adjust to the terrain. Um, but I love all three colors. So I didn't pick a color on these. I just think that this was a great, great mode, uh, mold character. Um, the price point was amazing, and I'm very, very happy with them. So, um, good job to mod fans on this. I, I agree with you. Um, I have the green one, and it is a very, very good figure, especially with the price point. Um, what I have on the list just bumped it up for me. So, let's move on to my number two, um, and that is this big fella right here. Dark Savior by TFC. Um, I love this thing. It's like almost the perfect Nemesis Prime. It's a little too removed from Nemesis Prime <laughs> to be the perfect one. I gave him a sword, but I love Gatling guns and that he has shoulder mounted ones is amazing. These wings are probably the most gorgeous wings, I think, on any Transformer that I have. Um, the shiny blue with the red in between. It looks so nice. The transformation is very fun. I've transformed this guy more than most of my Transformers. Um, <laughs> I just got little guys to go in my little robots to go in the little containers he comes in. The playability on this is next level. And that's, again, just like, you know, if you watched our Hasbro, top five Hasbro, that's what I'm looking for. And this thing is above and beyond most transformers um just like the ice wolf that was my number one mm -hmm. and that's the reason why i didn't put this at number one is it is i put the other one at number one and i had to really fight between this one and who i picked as number one so um yeah good job tfc and come on come out with more stuff like this come out with that 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 what's it called that megatron and g2 colors already well, it's, it's funny. That was going to be one of my honorable mentions. And the reason I didn't, one, is because I knew you were going to have it on, on your list. <laughs> um, and so it didn't make sense for me to pull it out of my shelf. Um, but it what because it was still based off of, as you mentioned, the Arctic, the desert, and all those, it, it was just a kind of a different kit added to the same base mode of it. So that's... It's, the, it's slight remold with the chest. Yeah, and stuff. yeah. yeah. But I, I, that's, I, that's I, why... I, I love it. Don't I get think, me wrong. I love I it. I think that that it's might probably, be. It's better. It's better than the others to yeah. me. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I'm. it might be a little too much for me to say, but that's one of my favorite molds of all time because yeah. it's so much fun. Yeah. Um, and I have so many of them. I don't spend 
200, 160 bucks on multiple figures of the same one. And I've got four of those. <laughs> You've got five. You got one more than me. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm not going to so, talk yeah, about how much so, it costs. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will. Um, I think it's a great value for the money. Um, but it is. let's move on to number one. Bobby, what was your top? I don't if this is is this your top figure of the year? This of is. All of them? Okay, this is, it's mine and, too. So, what is your top figure of the year? And this was very, very hard, and I'm gonna probably get some slack on this, but this this did something for me that really no other figure did for me this year, and that is X Transbots Biravanti slash Overdrive. Um, I picked up the repaints. Um, I hate the stickers. Um, they, I didn't have any of the problems that other people had with theirs. Um, no problems with the knees, no problems with the legs, no problems with the arms, you know, nothing. I absolutely, so one, I'm a car guy, so I love the cars. Um, I love the bot presence. I love the way it looks on the, sh on, on the shelf. I love the Omnibots as a kid. It was something that you had to mail away for. You, could, I did. I got them. It was kind of like a rarity to have them because, you know, for whatever reason, people weren't doing mail aways. You couldn't go pick them up in the store. This was probably my most anticipated figure of the year, besides the Bond and James, which was very disappointing. Uh, that if you saw our previous video, and this is something that immediately I ordered all the repaints of all the Omnibots. And so to get them in hand and they actually meet up to what I was expecting, that's what made it number one for me. Yeah, and that makes sense because you would not stop talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> so I could see why. Um, but, you know, like you said, you're a car guy. I'm a spider guy. And this, yes, <laughs> this thing is amazing. I love that it is an action figure that happens to transform and it's not a transformer that happens to be an action figure True. because it has so much posability. The transformation is fun. It's not hard. You could just do it sitting there. Um, it has all the different hands. I'm glad if it didn't have the gold face, it probably would not have been number one. Honestly, um, the paintwork is amazing. Probably better than any other thing that I have um, th that I got this year. Like, it is amazing. Um, all of the accessories it comes with that it can hold everything in, you know, I love this thing. And I, it, it's, I've been fiddling with her, you know, constantly. And um, yeah, I, I just got it in maybe a few weeks ago, but I think even if I got it earlier, it would have been on my top um, five of the list. Probably my, you know, my number one because this does things that other Transformers don't, which is the finish, the playability. No other figure is as fun as this thing is just to have in your hand and just to mess with. You know, the only one that comes close is the TFC one, which both of those were neck and neck because again, like I'm going to say it with the Hasbro ones, I look at what's fun and this is fun and we don't have it. So bingo toys make more than bots. The reason this one didn't make my list because it was and i pulled it out as an honorable mention the thing i didn't like about this is i don't want to change the fist i don't want to change the hands see that doesn't um you know really bother me because that's a tra that's an action figure thing yeah that's, that's a mortal combat you know show uh, what's not showsy um storm collectibles you know marvel legends i'm used to it yeah so so it That's would have been nice if they had a posable hand, but then she'd have man hands like that, um, that arm Armadin, the heiress from MMC. No, MMC. I, Those hands are huge on that figure. I can't remember, but um, yeah, that was that's what it. I love. I, I agree with you. The paint on it looks amazing, and the the color scheme, I should say, looks amazing. The purple, oh, the gold, yes. the black, that mm -hmm. looks amazing on it. And when I took it out the box, I was just like, oh yeah, this is this is really cool. It felt good. Um, the transformation is fun, as, as you mentioned. I just, I, again, the hands threw me off. I, I 
don't really like the hands on it and that's what my my big my probably my only gripe about the figure is actually i mean and, and that is very valid because i do wish they had a pair that were fists that could transform with a hole in it so you could put the weapons in i wish yeah. they had one pair of hands like that so i didn't have to keep flipping it out but at the same time like it's it's just it's too good you know i got their wind blade this year as well but that was technically last year and that was amazing so bring on slipstream bring on rc um come on bingo toys you know that's 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 what i want to see um i i can't get over how good it looks it's a perfect representation of black arachnia it's just, it, I, it really is it came with a lot and, of options for facial features and expressions and and, yeah. and the crown and and all that so yeah i love the options that it came with yeah yeah and where you could put everything you could take all the legs off and put them on you know the pegs here so all right enough gushing about that that is our best figure of the year let us know what your best figure was and if it is a legends figure wait till the next video <laughs> or the one after that depending on when these come out so <laughs> go and um let us know comment below yes thank you and uh we really look forward to it uh, again hopefully i don't get too many complaints about my top five i i know my number one is probably not going to be number one on a lot of people's list, but anxious to see. Yes, and we'll see you guys next time.